Hi, Rick here from Headliner. Today we're going to have a look at NewGen's Paragon ST. So let's dive right in and find out what it's all about. Paragon's interface is laid out like an algorithmic reverb. Um, you've got all the usual controls, pre-delay. You've also got room controls. You can alter the mic distance from the subject within the room. You've also got a modulation section. You've got EQ controls on the front, as well as crosstalk and size and brightness of room. Also mix and trim levels for Unity gain. All the sort of things you'd usually expect from an algorithmic reverb on a convolution reverb. Uh, and that's the major bonus of this. It's very easy to control and tweak. In the past, I've tended to spend quite a bit of time um, selecting the right reverb for particular tasks. And the great thing about this is, you know, it's not a question of uh, spending time finding the right one. It's deciding <laughs> which of these right ones you want to use for the specific task. So to give you an example of that, I'm just going to play this in a second, but um, and then flip through some of these. So you've got a little preset uh, folder here. It allows you to select the different types of reverb you want. So you can move along here, for example, if I want room style reverbs, that's my room options. Um, I could select small as well, so it narrows it down even more, but I'll let go of that. Uh, I could select the type, so that narrows it down even further. Um, but I'll just go through a few of these, um, okay, and uh, you can have uh, medium sized as well. So there's, there's quite a selection in here to flip through. So I'm just going to play this bit of track. Now at the moment I've only got um, a few channels being sent to this. So I've got this kind of Latin-y um, timbali sound. Uh, Little bit of this kind of Indian flavoured with a bit of percussive thing going on in the background that you can just hear there. Uh, I've also got I think the snare as well if I uh, no, kick. So I've got the hi-hats in there as well. Let's, uh, let's stick the snare top in there as well, shall we? Okay, so what we're sending. And these room ones are particularly nice because they, um, that symbol is right in your face now. Send it further away. You can tell on the snare already. ones here like this office hotel rooms tile room
definitely got it on that uh, guitar there, so. stuff shall we Getting back to this screen, look here, we've got various different views here. Um, okay, so you can adjust the EQ of this. Uh, shows you the decay, you can adjust that. So you can just adjust all these parameters manually should you so desire. And you even got So you can even check it out in advance to see what it's going to sound like on your track. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so you've got a load of setup stuff here. Um, so you can high pass filter, you can alter the percentages, um, you can alter the cross talk from left to right. Uh, there's a whole host of things you can do here. Um, obviously a very, very useful piece of equipment and uh, I love it. Um, so yeah, uh, best thing to do really is go download the demo version and have a play with it. Um, you can spend hours um, have endless fun with this. Um, another little thing that I really liked about this obviously is a modulation section here, which you can see which you can turn on. So for example, we've got this uh, tight reverb here. You can modulate that, you can move it around a bit. Okay, and you can also 
also change the distance from the mic. So if I listen to that in isolation, Okay, so there we go. That gives you a, a rough idea and a bit of flavour of what goes on here. Obviously, you've got all these parameters on the front here. Uh, bear in mind, this is a convolution reverb. Um, you know, this is kind of extensive amounts of control here that you don't normally find. Um, so yeah, I mean, it really is flexible. Uh, it really is quick. It's very easy to use. None of these files are huge. And the way it goes about adjusting its um, its uh, impulse response it's quite amazing um, how it does it so quickly I'm not sure but um, I mean my poor you know I've got a, a, a little Mac mini with 8 gig of RAM here and it is glitching now and again but it's glitching because I'm running two um, you know two DAWs I'm running one to record so I'm running Reaper behind Logic to record on uh, both this screen and my microphone. I'm capturing the screen as well, so I'm recording the screen recording as well as recording in one DAW and playing back through this one. Um, and it seems to, you know, with with it, with just the minor glitch here and there, it's actually coping quite well. This little Mac Mini, so um, it kind of shows that these files, you know, are, are certainly manageable, and it's not a massive great. Um, you know, it's not, not the massive, great, huge files that get loaded into some convolution reverbs, which are, will remain nameless, I might add. Um, and this is really impressive. So, you know, off you go. Go and have a play with this. Um, the other great thing about it is compared to some of its competitors out there, it's not a fortune. Um, you know, it really is competitively priced in terms of music production. Obviously, if you want the, the full convoluted, <laughs> excuse the pun, uh, version um, with 5.1 surround. Um, if you're in that kind of industry, then that's going to cost you a, a little bit more, but it's still a very, very worthwhile and cost effective product um, compared to its competition. So yeah, very impressed, very impressed. As always, I hope you found that informative. Uh, if you're interested in Paragon ST, please head over to New Gen's website where you can uh, pick up a 15 day fully functional trial version of this. Uh, there's a full review available at the headliner website. So head over to that and have a look. Um, as always, please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.